Mark and I are going to be talking about gradients 1 million, or actually I think it's 4 million now, uh, Llama 3 fine tune. What is gradient? Yeah, so Gradient is a full stack AI enterprise platform for building autonomous assistants and agents. What we offer are all the primitives to be able to achieve that in like an end to end manner. And we're really targeted to enable business level production applications to be automated through like agent like workflows. What gave you the idea to start Gradient? Why did you start this company? Yeah, I, I think I've always spent all my career in building machine learning systems. When I started out, I was doing it at hedge funds and um, trying to automate trading strategies. So adding the value there was incorporating uh, the entire pipeline to be able to uh, understand and, and, and run and add value. But it became readily apparent, uh, both between myself and my co-founder, Chris, who's at Netflix, that a lot of the common patterns we see across all organizations are that the fact that, you know, you really needed the, the AI to be powerful enough to drive uh, value and actually be even better as the intelligence got better. So, you know, as we saw the rise of GPT-3, uh, even before that GPT-2, we really just thought it was time to to build a company that is betting on these models getting uh, order of magnitude better within the next few years, which it's already happened. So um, now I'm looking for two orders of magnitude better in the next five years. I went on Gradient's website and I saw that you guys provide a variety of different services and uh, products. So I saw like fine tuning, RAG, agents. Like, can you tell us a little bit more about kind of like how these work and uh, what you guys are doing around these, um, let's say, frameworks or tools? The inception of what we built was thinking about the real vision of AI, which isn't so much like, yes, you have chat interfaces and you have no code workflows and stuff like that. But we had to build something from the ground up with respect to like having the intelligence and the language models being better. And that's why, you know, one part of the, about it in creating a secure production level platform for like enterprises um, is being able to host the models uh, for, for one, like open source models, as well as providing access to the closed source models and also having like specific models for tasks that can be called as functions. So um, a lot of people think about function calling in terms of APIs. I think about it more agnostically as like the language model is the brain okay. and it's like uh, in a uh, application and software application that we're building, like it's more like a, uh, uh, rather than being like a humanoid or a robot, it needs to interface with this environment, which is effectively all of the software and, and, uh, and the APIs that exist uh, that is allowed to use. So then um, what does that actually mean? You, you, you need a, an ability to fine tune the model to uh, enable to um, have specific behaviors. It gets a little bit more restrained and less general, but that's what you want for that use case. And then you also need like rag and retrieval augmented generation because you need to index that knowledge that you want it to be able to access at query time. Um, and then to a certain extent, as you know, my team develops better and better models like the long context model, like we can offer them before anybody else uh, or even do it specifically for some of our customers. Uh, you mentioned that you guys have the ability to kind of host the open source and the closed source models, um, as well as like hosting these other tools for enterprises. Um, what are you guys doing for that? Are you guys like putting, are you guys kind of like providing a framework that you then, that they then bring the tools and you deploy into their VPC? Or is this something where you are providing the tools and the framework and deploying into their VPC? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a bit, a little bit of a la carte on both sides. So okay. like, um, depending on what the needs are for the company that we're working for. So like we have, um, you know, we, we operate a lot in the finance and the healthcare sector with respect to healthcare companies. Some of them won't even, um, they're not even going to consider uh, closed managed models. So yeah. then in that case, like we deploy into their VPC 
And in other cases, you know, you have like some early uh, mid market startups that we'll work for, and they're okay with us managing their GPUs because one, what they care about is the product experience and the the latency and the throughput of their applications. So then, uh, we have the GPUs uh, available for them to be able to, um, to to work with the model, and it's it's similar to just calling an API and being uh, charged for that service that way. And, and you know, some of the tooling behind all of it is like, yeah, we're not going to reinvent the wheel. I think there's so much amazing tooling that's evolving over time, right? And having one company focus on that, like, but we focus on bringing it all together into like the compound AI system.